Hello guys, good morning. Good morning, it's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a really messy trade. Really messy trade, but I ended up get being green. Uh, there was a little bit of overtrading because I got stopped out twice at the open, and this is kind of a first time, kind of a first time that happened to me uh, for trading the one minute orbs, and I got stopped out twice. Imagine that. So today I'm going to show you my messy trade with uh, BAC. Uh, as you can see, short stopped out. I, even though my risk is somewhere here, I stopped out immediately because I'm too far from VWAP. So I stopped out, shorted it again, hoping for another, because I was really hoping for a break for this one. But the thing is, this candle was a sign that I shouldn't have entered short this, this week. This is a sign. So I shorted it, get, got stopped after recognizing this candle, like this big wick that it's being bought. It's being bought at this level. So what I did was I decided to get out, anticipating for a breakout of high of day and the pre-market around and the VWAP as well. So that's what I did. So I gladly covered all the way, all the way up here. And then, yeah, good thing I... I just realized I was in the wrong side, even though if it's below VWAP, like this week was a sign that not to get in short. That's why sometimes don't get in on the first minute candle. It's crazy. So I had it long because it's, I'm for sure it's going to break all the, uh, it's going to squeeze all the shorts. There you go. Once it, it, the, uh, what's it squeezed all the shorts. It went all the way up. Take some off, take them, took some off, took some off, all the way up here, almost all out. And I more than break even here. And then I added somewhere here, but decided to just bail out because I said maybe I don't want to give back some of my profit. I tried taking it long again here, stopped out because I was scared. Long again, I stopped out. It's just, I was just scared. And then I said, maybe it's a, maybe it's a short to VWAP. So that's what I did short a bit, but my risk was just somewhere here. So I shorted it here, but just, it's just a mess. I don't, I was like over trading and I said, I'm going to trade one more since it held this price at VWAP. And then it made this candle, same candle as did this, but smaller. I actually don't know what it calls. So I'm not really familiar with candles, like what, what their names, shooting star, hammer or whatever not familiar with them i just trade the price action so i don't really uh know all the names so i sh uh entered it long took some off here here and almost all out here and out of break uh, not break even almost out just out 100 percent here so sorry i'm talking so fast because i want to get this uh recap done because i gotta get to work but let's watch my trade Give me one sec. So there you go. Market opens. Right at the open right away. You can see that BAC has large 1 million volume here. 1.9 million. So it's kind of caught my attention. And so as the, uh, what's this? Uh, WFC, 600,000 and Uber. So all of them were really choppy at the open. Good thing I traded BAC. So right at the bat, BAC, I looked at it and I said, why? I entered right away. As you can see, it's a really, really bad move. So I entered short, hoping for it to, uh, to break the low of day, but it looks like I'm in a bad position. So I had green a little bit, but I didn't take profit because I wanted more. So I was risking 95 here, 1995. I wanted it to break, but the thing is this candle, as you can see here, it's being bought. So I just got out because I saw that it's, uh, th this uh, one minute candle is almost done. And then it's just gonna, just gonna shoot up. So I entered again. Trying to enter again. See what happens. But I just decided to get out because I thought it's gonna squeeze. So before it squeezes, I decided to get out and I was thinking maybe maybe it's gonna go now. So I waited for a bit because I feel like I'm over trading. 
So I'm gonna like not this is not a big loss actually. So this is just a small loss. So now there you go. So this moved about this moved about uh what's this ten so my risk now is I think twenty cents. Yes, twenty cents because it moved ten cents. So I was risking twenty cents here. There you go. My stop is somewhere probably I was risking 10 cents even though my my risk is right here so as you can see there let's fast forward this a bit because uh, i did trade a mess here so there you go so my risk was just 10 cents there you go take 10 percent there 10 percent 10 percent hoping for 15 10 percent yep it's just okay i think this is where i took half there that's the half so i'm almost kind of out because of this <laughs> i was just taking partial really, really heavy because i uh, i've kind of lost in this trade so there you go that's the trade i was looking for crazy right so i have like last shares here i want to get out somewhere at 2009 even though my entry is here I just didn't want to give back any of my profit so i'm almost all out here but it kind of hover around this area or this area i can't remember yeah this watch out for this because this is a bit messy Nineteen ninety one is my average cost, but I just put it in an, an under nineteen ninety five. It was it was a struggle actually. But this one it looks like it's kind of like making a bull flag kind of, but it was just hovering around this two like levels are awesome, right? Imagine how cool this is. Just my levels are perfect and look at this perfect right 1970 1970 look at my levels it's just perfect same for this one kind of perfect 2027 so i was thinking maybe this is going to be a long again so i added long i was just just got yeah and then i stopped out so i just added there but i didn't want to give back so i just decided to get out because uh, I didn't want to give back any of my profit and after that I kind of over traded there you go took it long really really tight risk I was really hoping for a break but I decided to get out because I was just being uh, protective of my uh, profit and I said oh shoot now FOMO is kicking in because I thought it's gonna break now because there are like signs here that's just gonna break 2027 but I waited patiently and now I'm out in again I know it's making yeah it's making uh lower lows but I thought it's gonna break now of the small wicks but i think i just decided so my risk was here about 10 cents i decided to get out because uh, <laughs> it's better to get out than to give back and then it dumped i think yep there you go i remember this because i was closely watching this i don't normally trade like this but today was a pretty good experience because i was like really focused on the price action I think I can do this, but it's just too stressful. I was really hoping for for to break uh twenty twenty seven, <laughs> so I shorted it because it, you know, it did break this level. Hoping for a twenty dollar uh, target or this area, this two. I almost got stopped there. And then took some off because it was a really really tight risk 10 percent should have taken some here but 
I was trading really high risk now. I don't normally do this, so I stopped out. So after getting stopped there, I said, no, nah, it's holding this price 2003. It looks like it's, if it breaks 15 or 12, then it's probably going to go back to uh, high of day. Let's see what happens here. So this is the one I was looking for, right? I could have made a little bit more money here. But the thing is, look at this candle. It made this candle. Just a little bit of volume. So there's no volume. So it's like looking for volume actually. So because of this candle, I risk maybe 10 cents. So I was actually risking 10 cents now. So my price is 20.08. So I'm going to get out 20. There you go, took some off there. I was hoping for a break of 2027. 20, Sorry, it's been uh, it's 11 minutes now. I'm gonna get out of break even just in case because I don't wanna give back. So I was just scalping. I like, I like doing this, but sometimes you really, really have to be careful. You have to respect your stops. Yeah, so it took some off because it's not, I'm greedy. <laughs> and then it just went to my target 2027 and all the way up to, I can't remember which price. So it took some off there because uh, I just didn't want to give back and slowly taking partials. So my average cost is 2008, but I put it under 2009 just in case. I should have taken there, but I was closely watching the price. And then I think I went all out at 2040. Maybe, I'm not sure. 32. It reached 20. I can't remember what I did here. I think that's it. Oh, it didn't even reach 2040. 34, 35. I was just being really, really patient here. So it moved about 20 cents. I was risking 10 cents. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a... It's not a big winner, but it's not bad. Not bad for me to recover. So this, I recovered from here, recovered here. So this too... I recovered quickly from this and then this is, I gained more profit from here. There you go, hoping for a break, it's not breaking. 55 is the high of day. Come on. Look like, it looks like it's not breaking. Yeah. I should have gotten all out here. Like here. Because normally when you see a flag like this, and it's making lower lows. If it doesn't break, it's gonna go back to VWAP. Yeah, if it breaks this one, it's gonna go back to VWAP. It's easy as that. So that's why I don't really add moving averages anymore. I just look at patterns. You see this pattern? Boom, back to VWAP. Right, so this is kind of like a fake out of this uh, flag, bull flag. Now it's back to VWAP. Same for this one. It failed, now it's gonna go back to VWAP. Yeah, so whew. that's about it. Uh, it's not a bad day, not a good day as well. I prefer just trading one trade, the open. Yeah, I'm just training myself, trading the open, training and training and training. And if I lose, uh, I know what to do, like things like this. I know what to do now, like flip my position and have like a proper risk reward and proper plan so i've been trading just to open see what i did here i kind of over like i was like this is fomo when i got in this is fomo it's too far from vwap i should have waited maybe entered here just in case and then stop it somewhere here right if i entered here but the thing is this candle you have to be really really careful yeah that's it uh 
hope you guys at least i don't know learn something <laughs> and if you haven't please please subscribe to my channel uh and if you have any friends who has the same interests uh yeah so please let them know subscribe if you haven't please 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 do it for me so yeah so this is what happened i was all out here now it's back to my break even 2008 something yeah and maybe this is gonna go down now <laughs> if this fails to hold it's probably gonna go back to low day which i will not be surprised okay have a great day everyone stay safe stay home and see you tomorrow